in Kansas City's favor. The home at uh, back and forth. It's, it's either way. It's going to be a very good matchup. One of the guys that you you have to know when you talk about sporting Kansas City is Kai Kamara. He's a special man with a special story. Here, take a listen. Kai Kamara was six when Sierra Leone's bloody civil war ripped apart his life. I was in school. I heard this explosion, and then everybody just ran out. Well, I went running through a, a little road, and people started falling. A couple of guys started falling, and then they're stepping on people. We were hunted. <laughs> it was like, okay, we're not safe anymore. Everybody was looking for a way to get out. After nine years of running, Kai finally reunited with his mother in the United States. Throughout the chaos, one thing remained the same. I don't know where I'll be without soccer. I'm the only player playing in MLS that's been back here to play with the national team. I play for sport in Kansas City where they really take care of us. And, uh, and I come home and uh, I just got to change my mentality and just be ready for it. As Sierra Leone rebuilds, so too do the Leone stars. It's a long process riddled with setbacks and challenges. Other teams came here and they said, yeah, you guys can be so much better if your field was good. That's our advantage, you know, we, we get to use the, the worst fields against you guys. Traveling my goal four, five, six other places before we get to our destination. I lived in Africa before I never slept in the hut. And now I'm traveling my national team and I slept in the hut. So guys on my teams usually play for the U.S. and they're like, why didn't you play for the U.S.? I go, I don't know, I just want that feeling to wear green, white, and blue. Stadium, how crazy the fans go, I want to feel that. Now we have such a young team and we're ready to play. We're ready to prove that we can do something. Sierra Leone qualifying for the World Cup. The, the way people worship the game here, making the World Cup, it's just the greatest thing for the whole nation. Now you all know the player and now we get to learn a little bit about the person. It's kind of hard not to root for the guy. You see his stats on the year, nine goals, four assists, 91 shots, 29 of those on goal. Now, both of you guys know him fairly well. I mean, tell me a little bit more about him. He's my teammate for a few years, and I know he bounced around. He started in Columbus, then went to San Jose, and then Houston. But I think he's really found a home here in Kansas City. I, the people have embraced him. The fans have embraced him, not just for his ability on the field, but for who he is as a person. It's really special. To he see. is a good guy. Yeah, he, you just saw right there. That's the essence of his passion, you know, what he feels for the national team. And I know him from his time in San Jose, and he was traded to Houston when a family member was killed. Uh, you know, it's just incredible. Thanks for Peter Vermes for taking this player and really getting the best out of him. So I'm happy that he's doing well. Well, I hope he does. I, I can't help it now. I think I'm rooting for the guy. I hope he scores 15 <laughs> goals today. All right, stick around, everybody, as the pregame show continues. 